Milo would be back. He'll, he went to, to set up the recording and he'll be coming back soon, everybody. All right, I am here. And uh, Marty, I think we're ready. You could probably start that live stream anytime. Yeah, we're gonna get started here in a few minutes. Uh, we're getting a good crowd here. We're gonna talk about product review and we don't even have any idea what we're gonna be talking about. What do you guys think of that? All I we love know it. Is, all that we makes know it is, exciting. That's right. <laughs> like all we know is whoever hits that button first, and raises that hand when we do the countdown. That is who is going to get to say what we get to talk about. We've already talked about a bunch of them, and we got some great panelists tonight. Uh, we'll be announcing them here in a few minutes. So, all right, good to have all of you here. So, uh, is everyone excited? Oh my God, did you listen to the 360 today? That was awesome. And if you listened to Red the other day, and Marty the other day, and Chris, Man, you listen to the updates and you listen to Ash a couple times, you know, and uh, it doesn't leave a whole lot of time left for you. I'll tell you that it doesn't leave a lot of time for sleep or anything, but uh, it's good stuff. It's just good stuff, man. I just, uh, I, I am enjoying it. I am loving where we're at. And yeah. Jeffrey Morlock is in the house, just so you know. All right. Well, that sounds good, man. It looks like we got them all, so. I see uh, Susie McRae's in the house also. All right, Susie, it's good to have you here. And Red, good to have you here. I haven't said anything to you, man. I've been watching you all week, though. Seems like I see you all the time, all over the place. You do such a tremendous job for us, man. Thankful for all the leaders, man, that just, uh, you know, they're out there leading us, man. And uh, it's awesome to be part of this, this family. It really is, you know, and and what we got going, we're going to look back in a few years, and and some of us that have been on the journey, we're going to be able to talk about some things. All right, so if you guys are ready to go, I am. Here we go. Welcome to the Julian and Milo Show. Julian Milo Show is here today. You don't want to miss a single word they say. Bring and you found it from a near and far. Listen, as I tell you now just who they are. Listen to the stories and the how they tell. In just three minutes, how they're doing well. Telling us what it's all about today. And how they are loving that old passive way on passive. Just here to stay on passive. There's just no better way. But listen to the Julie and the Milo show. Then you can be the very first to know on passive. It's here today. Julie and Milo show is coming your way Wednesday night on passive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And usually I would say, Julie, take it away. But Julie is out. She's got a lot of things going on. She's working behind the scenes hard for us. And she said her voice is not 100%. She might be back Saturday. We're not sure. She said, depending on her voice or whatever. But uh, anyway, we got a great show lined up for you tonight. And I want to thank every one of you for being here. Because if, if you was not here, do you realize there would be no need to be here? Thank you, everyone, for being here. Also, I'd like to say a special thanks to the people who actually make this show happen. We got John Barilla. He's working behind the scenes for us. He's working, he's working in the uh, back end, making sure that everything goes right. Say hi, John. Hey, hello, everybody. I'm behind the scenes. All right. Good to John, see everybody. John, John's taking care of business. And we have Miss Lynn Nakamoto that uh, it does a great job when Julie's not here. She steps in and, and she is taking care of bringing guests on and just making sure things flow because I am not very good at multitasking. Uh, I can look at the screen and talk to people and I get all excited and forget where I am and everything else. Someone's got to keep us in line. Thank you, Lynn. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Glad to be here. Thank you for attending the Julie and Milo show. All right. And, man, we have a star-studded panel tonight, man. I mean, we got some good people here that know all about the product. So guess what? I know that we're not going to have any problems answering any of your questions tonight. 
First up, we got Mr. Red Renford from the UK. He always answers all the questions. Say hi, Red. Yeah, hi guys, how you doing? Good to be here. Uh, wow, what a couple of days we've been having. Uh, I'm trying my hardest to bring as much information to you guys as possible in this run up to the end of the founder's position. Seven days, guys. This time next week, I'll be it. No more founders. I am so excited and looking forward to the next stage. Uh, we've got seven days of hard work to go to spread the word for those very lucky people who are still going to get in the door. And I really do mean that they are going to be so thankful and so lucky to be able to sneak in just before we finish. Back to you, Milo. Absolutely, Red. They're just going to slide under that door, but man, they're going to make it. And that's all that matters. If you're a founder, remember, if you are a founder and you're on this show right now, you are one of the very lucky ones or blessed ones, you know, uh, because your life is about ready to change. Get ready. Next up, we got Mr. Engineer Mike. Uh, Mike, come on down and say hi to us all. Hello, everybody. Hello, leaders from all over the globe. We are here again for a wonderful day. Milo, thank you for bringing us all here to come see all the big leaders. Concerning their seven days more, on Sunday, I'll be having the last of my global presentation of Unpassive. So if you people can make it, you can come bring your guests. Let's make it happen. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, thank you, Mr. Mike. And next up, we got none other than Miss Susie McCray. Come on down, Susie. And talk uh -huh. Come on down. I am so happy to be here tonight, and I'm so happy that Engineer Mike, Red Redfern, and Jeffrey Morlock are here because they know these products inside and out. So I will do my best to add any value I can and have a little F word tonight, fun, F-U-N. So thanks for having me, and I'm so glad we have such, such a great cast of characters here tonight. Thanks, Milo. Absolutely, Susie. I agree with you. I think we got it covered 100%. These guys know what they're talking about. And now let me bring to the stage. I, I don't see this guy very much. I'm just kidding. I've been seeing Jeffrey a lot lately. We've been doing a lot of product reviews. And this is this is a, a knowledgeable guy. And remember, when you when you get knowledge, man, it's power. Jeffrey Morlock, come on down to the stage and talk to us, brother. Hey, 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 good day to you. Hello, hello, and all of that. Man, I'll tell you what, I'm loving seeing this. Um, I, and I had to run away just a minute to go get my power cord. I was about to lose power. I said, oh, that's the last thing I need. It's been one of those days. <laughs> um, if Mike, Mike, I'm apologizing to you too, brother. I, I missed what you said a minute ago, but I want to remind people we are migrating data. We're in the throes of it. We're in the thick of it. You're going to have hot spots, dull spots. You're going to have some downtime. Relax. Enjoy yourselves, have some patience. Patience is the word of the day, is happening. And that's why those things are happening. We're in the best spot. I can't imagine being anywhere else but here with you and Lynn and all you others. I mean, Red and Susie, all you got to do is be here. You don't have to say a word, you put value at the place. So life is good for all of us. Thank you, Milo. Absolutely. And one other I would like to mention is our big brother, Mr. Marty DeGarmo. He's always here, he always starts the show. And I'm sure he'll be adding some stuff tonight. Hey, Marty, come on down and say hello to us. Maybe he's out eating. All right, well, he'll come and he'll come back whenever he gets here or whatever. But uh, one thing I do want to, I want to bring up one point that I found out today. And, and I'm probably the only guy that, that didn't know this, that made that mistake when they, when they said it was going to be at midnight on the 22nd, I thought that that meant, you know, if we would go through the whole 22nd and then at midnight, it would be over and before the 23rd, that is not the case. It is going to be at the 22nd, which once the 21st is over, it moves into midnight on the, on the 22nd, which I believe is a Wednesday. Once it comes into that, you're done. There's no founders after that. Am I correct, Red? I see the thumbs up. Yeah, absolutely right, Milo. There was a lot of confusion about what exactly is uh, the, the midnight 
uh, the 22nd as far as specific time is concerned, but you're spot on. As soon as it goes into the 23rd, that's it. No more anywhere uh, on. So for us, uh, so, no. so you are saying, wait a minute. Wait a minute, uh, there's a contradiction. No, I mean, I've got, so as soon as it goes past the midnight into the 22nd, that's it, done. Okay, yeah, so the 21st is actually the last day. When it hits the 22nd at midnight, you're all, we're all done. Yeah, the, uh, Europeans class midnight as 2359.99. But for uh, the States and that, it's a little bit different, the uh, midnight type of thing. You look at it at 12 uh, a.m., so it works differently. But for anybody who's out there, it is... The last time on the 21st, okay, in the world, you can possibly register. Right. As soon as, soon, as, soon as it goes into 20, 22nd, that's it. Game over. All right. And, and for, for us founders, it's game is on. <laughs> uh, most, most definitely. Do you know something? I think that we uh, have only scratched that surface of what we believe and think uh, I'm sure as soon as that door is closed, we are certainly going to have a lot more um, pertinent information that was not allowed to be given to us before for legal reasons, for uh, the reasons of foundership's coming in. Uh, but one thing's for sure, uh, I know that we will be getting uh, information that are going to be very good to our ears. <laughs> I agree with you. You know what? Uh... Uh, Red, me and Jeff, is, uh, we kind of did this thing. I don't know. We almost maybe bit off more than we can chew, man. We're going to try to to run 23 videos, one of each product uh, out before and within six days. So you'll see them coming out every six hours. And uh, we're tr we get so excited, me and him, we can't even hardly talk because we're trying to keep it to just a few minutes. But man, when you look at these products and how they integrate together and everything like that, it, it's mind blowing. It really is. So, uh, look, yeah, I, 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 I totally agree. I've been obviously, as you know, I've been doing uh, my product uh, overviews as well with them. And I've actually been shocked uh, myself, really, is I what I thought about the products. Uh, yeah, I had a really good understanding. But when you start getting into the FAQ side of things, uh, not just that front page, there's a bigger section as well. If you go to read more after it, I'll tell you what, these products are absolutely banging. They are singing and dancing. Anything that you think of has already been covered. And remember, Ash has said, we're only starting with this. We want more input. We want more ideas so that we can then take it up to the next level, just as it is at the moment. They are so, so good. And as you've rightly said, Nash, um, Milo, they are all integrated. They can work individually, stand alone as they, uh, uh, on their own, or seamlessly work alongside another one of the on passive products without even blinking, all integrated. How cool is that? Back to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So let's move on to our format, how we're going to do this. So just so everyone understands, this is what we do. We we take an uh, I count down five, four, three, two, one, and make sure I say go. Because if I don't say go and your hand goes up, then we have to start all over. So make sure I say go. And whoever smashes that button first gets their hand up in the air. You know, that's the one that gets to pick whatever they want to talk about product-wise. You say what your product is, say where you're from and say what you think the product's going to do for you and how, why you like it and stuff like that. Take about three minutes. And then we will go to the panel and we will start covering that uh, one by one and, and we'll, we'll each uh, talk about it a little bit. Uh, so uh, so we'll, we'll get ready. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. And then after, when we're done with that, if you want to talk about that product, now it has to be about whatever product it is because we're not... We're focusing on only the product that we're talking about. We know that it integrates with everything else and, and everything like that. And if we get into that, it, it, it goes too long because it's so powerful. I mean, if you mentioned it or something, but we want to try to focus on the product. So here we go. You guys ready? Get your hands ready to hit the button. Here we go. 
five, four, three, two, one. Marcian, I can't believe you raised your hand again. I didn't say go. Marcy, yeah. Man, you are you are trying so hard. All right, here we go again. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, we didn't get nobody. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Ah, Dr. Benny. Oh, let me look at the thing. Yeah, Dr. Benny won. Dr. Benny, come on down and talk to us. Great. Thank you, Brother Milo. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I believe we haven't talked about O-Net, O-Network, right? We, ha we have not. Perfect. Now, let me talk a little bit about O-Network. O-Network is just like a community, just like Facebook. You utilize O-Network to communicate with your friends and family all over the globe. As we all know, with all network, it has evolved with uh, the advanced artificial intelligence technology, which it used, it has different, different requirements to attract like news, network, social network and everything. And then we do have like the key features of all network. It talks about like notification group. And remember with all network, what we all know that our CEO said that when you go log into O Network, make sure you write something meaningful. Don't say, hi, good morning. No, don't do that. You need to write something meaningful. What is on passive? Or what is data center? Or you talk about our products, that is meaningful. Now, when, we, when it comes to our, the key features, you talk about the events, the market, it talks about like the new field, and timeline and then the messaging. So I, I don't want to talk that much, but I will allow engineer Mike and uh, brother Jeffrey, sister Susie to talk more about this um, uh, O network. As we all know, remember when you go to O network, sometimes you have to say, I like it, right? You have O like, O love, O wow, O money. Uh, you know, most of the time you have to choose, I like this. You are liking it because of what? Because you like what someone has written, right? And please make sure you write something meaningful. Thank you so much. Dr. Benny, uh, tell me what is ONET going to do for you personally? What is it going to do for you? Well, to me, with ONET work, I know that I'll be able to communicate with my friends and family all over the globe. There's a noise. Uh, Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm muted. Okay. With all network, I will utilize all network to communicate with my friends, with my family. As you know, with all the unperseverance to communicate, should in case anything we need, we can communicate with one another. And again, with all network, you can still do business with all network. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Benny. Appreciate what you said. Uh, so we're going to go to the panelists right now, and uh, we're going to have them expand on it a little bit. Miss Susie McCray, come on down and talk to us. Oh, you do ladies first. Oh, we do. Sometimes oh, we do that, but sometimes we jump all over the place. Oh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> so I'll be brief on my thoughts about this, um, because I believe O-Net, O-Network, um, I see people who have value that they're trying to add to their audience. And a lot of people are doing that through Facebook, they're doing it through YouTube, and they're continuing ha continually having to come up with more and more material every day, refurbish it, have new things so that they can monetize their YouTube channel. Or if they're on Facebook or another social media, they add value to their audience and then they bring them in and then they make an offer to them for something else. What I see O-Network 
uh, capacity to do is it will allow people who really want to add value to their audience, they won't have to worry anymore about monetizing their channel because what they'll be able to do is they'll be able to bring all of the followers from whatever um, platform on social media, they'll be able to invite them to come to O Network and everyone who comes to O Network, the way they get there is through their name and email address. And perhaps it's one of the free products, which I believe it will be. They will come in, they will follow their favorite people that they either enjoy a comedian or something about finance or business or life or health, whatever. They come and follow them. And by following them, they are locked into that person and coded to them. And then on passive is going to do the work of marketing to those uh, people who have joined this person to let them know about other products in on passive. And if those followers choose to purchase something, that person who has brought them in will earn a commission. So it's a win-win for people who are very visible on YouTube or other social media platforms to not just be able to uh, say what they wanna say and do their videos, but it will absolutely help the, help um, remunerate them for all of the work they're doing instead of uh, you know have, having to come up with something new every day. Then they could also go into Academy should they be someone who wants to teach something to people. So that's how I look at O Network, uh, just that small piece of it. And I'm sure the other panelists have other piece of it they wanna share, but that's a win-win for that person and for their followers to come to a, a clean platform with artificial intelligence and uh, enjoy it, you know? Perfect, thank you, Susie. Thank you, great points you brought up. And Thanks for leaving a little bit there for the other three panelists to come up with. We like that, yeah, uh, you know. And remember, if if at the end they don't hit the spots that you wanted to, you get a chance to come back and, and bring those up too. So next up, that way we can all share a little bit. Next up, let's have Mr. Engineer Mike come on down, brother. Hello, everybody. All our our. Uh, leaders here today. Yes, um, O-Net is good. Now, the O-Network, the one we have in our back office, is just a little tiny module of the bigger O-Net, okay? So the O-Network that we have in the back office using now is just a small little tiny um, one part portion. That's a module of the bigger O-Net. So ONET is the final product name, okay? It will be ONET. So like every other participant has spoken, Dr. Benny started it, went to our big sister, Susie McCray. ONET is that our social network, okay? That encourages the connection of communication of individuals to share the same individuals that share the same interests with you, okay? Now, you can use it to do texting, images, audio, videos, you know? So it is very uh, reliable and we should know again, it is 21st century cutting edge technology. It is a notch on its own, okay? So ONET also comes with, where we have a lot of integration with other products like um, our big sister Susie McCray just said with um, Academy and things like that. We will also surely have it with O, 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 o Connect because you can have your, your, your base of your population, your, your spouse base or something, your friends. Yeah, you can, all, you can create a meeting for all of you people to join, right? To come together, get a meeting. I mean, what are a webinar to talk about something, right? That you people have like in common, right? So it focuses on like target 
targeting advertisement opportunities for individuals, right? Who want to be visible in their in the in the in the wider population or in the wider um, international or national um, out there there out there. So if you have something that you want to really like, for instance, musicians like you, Milo, who is a musician, you can use that platform and it will be very very uh, good for you to use it. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely, Michael. Uh build fan bases like crazy whether you're a musician you're a comedian you're a church uh you'll be able to build fan bases with it uh there's just a lot of things you will do all right next up we got mr red renford all the way from the uk come on down red and talk to us yeah how you doing uh thank you for all the other speakers that have gone before me uh yeah absolutely right oh net is going to be a awesome product now at the moment we probably all of us here use one of four social medias that are out there uh all of them or one of them so the main ones that we all know about is facebook instagram twitter and youtube what onet is going to do it's going to combine all these four into one place you could be uh a youtuber have your stuff content on onet have your own group have your own followers and as susie mccray rightly said you only need to be able to put one of those videos up on onet the people who want to view it would have to put in their name and email as a free guest to view it guess what happens to those they are all locked into you can you imagine these youtubers one million two million followers that they have getting a slice of the cake just by having that one video on onet uh instagrammers they love to put pictures up onet is fantastic for this very easy drag and drop you don't even have to import a file all you have to do is to uh, uh highlight it drag it across and drop it straight on there and it will convert straight away twitter we all like messages you can have a inbox messenger either to individuals or to groups you can search by groups you can search by what people like to do hobbies crafts all these sort of things if you're a business it's going to have its own marketplace as well where you can advertise your goods and services and again it all works exactly the same free version people come and have a look they might want to buy something but before they get there guess what happens yep they have got to put their name in you can advertise anywhere in there it brings revenue in you can target your traffic uh within the marketplace and through onet where you want people to come from it's going to be absolutely revolutionary if you want to know what is in store for you for onet just pop over to onpassive.com go to the product section, look for Onet, and there is loads and loads of information there. Back to you, Milo. All right, thank you, Red. That was great. And next up, we got Mr. Jeffrey Morlock. Come on down, brother. Take us, take us. And good evening to you. I want to do a couple of honorable mentions. I did see uh, Key Wendell in the background. I know he's been uh, not, not well. Uh, just about as long as Julie, I think he's been struggling. So I, I just want to welcome him and say hi to Corinne. I've missed seeing her, but good to see her here too. And there's others, but I'm going to, I like what Red was just saying. Uh, and actually, in addition to what he said and, and about, uh, you know, along the same lines as, as what he had said, not only can we do the uh, things he was talking about, but there's also, uh, um, there, there's four categories that we can browse and, and join networks and coordinate and all that. And those four categories are, are regions and uh, workplaces and colleges and high schools. So that that helps to kind of expand our own community out and, and put some organizational stuff in there. And we've also got news feeds and timelines. You can track reactions, you know, chat messages and stuff like that. And the notifications that go out. But one of the things that I really, I mean, and this is probably above uh, O Network, but one of the things that I really find most attractive is that unlike most of the other Facebook, uh, I, <laughs> a Freudian slip there, I guess, uh, the other social medias that pop into mind when we refer to ours as opposed to theirs, 
is the fact that we're not going to be gathering and we're not going to be harboring or hoarding personal information, you know, digital identity information or anything like that. And we're not going to be selling it or anything like that at all, like some of the others are doing. And that sets us up and above and apart from the, uh, the rest of the medias of the world. And that's just something that I can appreciate. In addition to that, from the website that we create, from our own own network, I really believe that there's going to be ways for people to earn money from that and from people that come there, you know, and from advertisements and stuff. So it's not just on, say, for instance, for me, if, if I'm on YouTube and I want to earn money, then that means I've got to go out and do something. And I've got to continue to do that like, uh, like Susie was saying. And that can get pretty tough. But with O Network, you're going to be able to have people come in. And there's going to be things there that you will opt into that will allow you and your followers to, if they want to, uh, engage. And that'll, that'll bring in some earnings for you. So I'm just very pleased about that. Absolutely, Jeffrey. And I like one thing you said there about, uh, you know, other social medias, they're not, uh, we're not like them. We're not collecting all that data and stuff. And, I and they don't give you any money either. We're exactly right. And the other thing that they, that they sometimes will do is they will, once they get all your names and stuff, then they, you know, they get rid of you. I mean, I had, I had one of them do that to me at 5,000 and then all of a sudden, I can't get on and they, they wanted me to prove I was who I was. And I, I told them everything and, you know, I still never got it back, you know? So, uh, it's just, it's, it's some of some things that I, I'm just looking forward to a change. I think some of it, when we talk about the, uh, uh change, uh, the correct, the correction to corruption, you know, some of this is, this all falls right into place. So, all right, well, good. And it is good to see key and, and, uh, Corinne and some of them, I know there's been a lot of people sick and, and so we should really, uh, uh, Julie's been sick, you know, we need to make sure we keep everyone in prayer because, you know, uh, pray for all of our family because, uh, you know, we're all working hard and sometimes that's not the best thing for our health, uh, the way that we go about it. But man, we time is short and we got to get as many as we can underneath the door there, like Red said. So, all right, uh, let's see. Uh, does any of the other panelists have anything else to say? Uh, Susie or, or Mike? If not, we're going to move on to people. Okay, I see. Uh, let me see who's got their hand up. Corinne, Corinne, come on down and talk to us about ONET. What Aloha, everybody. Thank you, Myla, for, for bringing me up. And, you know, normally I don't attend this Webinars, this is too late to me because I'm at Swiss time. But today I tell you, it's um, very valuable to me. Of course, I saw the big leaders as Jeffrey, Susie, and uh, Engineer Mike and Red Redfern. I said, well, I have to join there. And you know, because um, I, and, and I al already almost have an um, application for divorce with my husband. He said, Corinne, we have to stand up tomorrow very early. I say, yes. But you know, this, I have to join. I, it, it's calling me. <laughs> so yes, here. And I know not only because of you, because I love you all. And even John Barilla and everybody, everybody, you know, and uh, Bruce and everybody. Uh, but this topic is very, very delicate to me because I sense the energies, as you know. And I'm not in Facebook. Why not? Because I always, I almost have to vomit if I get in the energy field of Facebook. This is my personal perception, okay? Because I feel the intention and the intention is no good. So I don't, I, have, I haven't joined to any social platform. Um, YouTube, maybe it's a social platform, I don't know. YouTube, okay, it's neutral, more or less, you know, Google in behind, okay, you never know. But, you know, this is the intention and the heart. So to me, ONET is a room, a space where we can be authentic without putting any masquerades, 
to show whatever we want to commercialize because this is this is to me all over everybody's commercializing everything to make money why why can't we just join together and celebrate life you know and form groups you know that we have telegram for example and i have a group or uh, two groups of telegram and I always say since we are in saying as soon as own net is ready for making groups we are going to move you know we are not ready for the groups yet you know because um, to make groups it's not isolating or splitting no 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 it's just getting together with the um, same mindset or heart set uh, here's my my cat coming here she's very sensitive too so she's joining too <laughs> You know, well, there are some, they love cats, for example, like Dina Modi from Jordan. She wants to make a project for cats and animals. So why not to join together whoever has different projects or, or any approach and without even wanting to commercialize? This is something, an extra, just with on passive. The first mindset is not making money, but sharing the value of ourselves, the potential, and uplifting humanity and the money comes alone so that is what i appreciate so much for all network and i know this is the main key why i'm here and everywhere what is related to on passive which is of course me myself too because the intention is the right one and we do the right thing because we are right and we have this higher purpose with every single tool and resource we offer to humanity that's why I, oh. I, I as well. All Must right, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Corinne. Uh, very good. Uh, all right, let's bring up Mr. Key Window. Come on down, Key. Hey, Milo. Hey. Um, as Jeffrey has, had shared with you, I've, I've been under the weather, guys. Um, it was bound to catch up with me sooner or later after taking care of sick people for over three and a half years with COVID, but. I'm better. Um, I'm back to work and, and I'm, I'm doing well, but thanks for, for speaking, Jeffrey. I appreciate it. Uh, Milo, I, I would uh, share O Connect. I plan on using it um, to connect with military oh, groups. Wait a minute, Key. Key we're yeah. talking about old net. We're only I'm sorry. Oh, oh, net. Oh, net. I'm at. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Um, still not clear in the head, but uh, uh, no problem. I have military groups that I have supported and raised fund for um, and recognized for past five, six years. Um, some of these guys flew with my father. It's a connection that Julie and I have to Vietnam, but, um, and I'm sure Red will probably use it to connect with his military buds and reunions and such as that. And um, I did just complete a trip. I drove down to Florida um, the gentleman, I, I have a couple military flags that I had made. They're made out of oak wood and they're going to go into Air Force museums. Um, but the gentleman that flew these missions, they're getting in their 80s and 90s and, and we're losing them. So I had one gentleman that I wanted his signature on this flag. So I drove down to Florida in 25 hours. I drove 18 hours just to get his signature. We met, had a cup of coffee. I got back in the car and I turned around and I came home. Um, that probably didn't help my health situation much. But anyway, I will use um, the platform to get these guys and their, and their, their children because they're passing, but uh, to keep these guys' memory alive and to honor them and to share that in that regard of, of groups and um the couple of flags I have will be going to a museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky, which I will deliver when it's completed, the museum. And the other one's going to Dayton, Ohio, to the U.S. Air Force Academy. And I, I presented those flags several years ago, but they weren't ready for them to display. Um, but that's my plan. And thanks for the guys. And thanks for the prayers, everybody. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Key. And do you know that the road that goes to Bowling Green, I think, goes right through Nashville? Uh, well, I'll have to, I'll, I'll keep you posted. Um, they are, the museum is, is for the river rats, which was uh, a group of fighter pilots that flew into North Vietnam. I won't get into that story, but they have a dedicated museum for them now. 
and uh, the flag um, that I have, actually it's still in the car, I hadn't even taken it out of the car, but um, it will be going to that museum. They have a dedicated area dedicated to the, the 105D model, which was the single seat that flew a lot of missions into North Vietnam. And, um, and some of those guys are, they're still with us and, and, you know, but they're getting in their eighties and nineties and, and my dad has passed on, but um, I will come see you, Milo. I'll keep you posted. You can come go with me. All right. That sounds good. Kihai. Just let me know when it is, you know, I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to meet everybody to tell you the truth. So, like all this. right, let's see. Do we have anyone else? Uh, anyone else want to talk on ONET, what it will do for them, what they like about it, what uh, anything? Anybody going once, going twice, and going three times. All right, we're going to move on. And once again, I want to make sure that, that we all, you know, take the time to, uh, to, to say prayers for our, our family, our own passive family, you know, we're getting close, uh, man, and it, it's just, we want to make sure that we're all there, man. We, we're healthy, so. All right, uh, let's go to the next one. Now, let me tell you what we went through so that we don't uh, pick any of them. We've gone through O Tracker, O Connect, O Academy, O Dit, O Chat, O Virtual, O My Life, O Staff, O Net, O Connect, O Bless, and O Create. So those are off the, those are off. Uh, you can't do those. We're, we're, we're moving on to something else. So uh, there's still some big ones out there and I'm waiting for someone to call them off. So everyone ready? You guys ready? You got your hands uh, ready to click on that button? Now, Marcy, N, are you ready? You should get it this time. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, Dr. Benny, you've already got one, so we, we're going to move on to someone else. All right, sorry about that. All right, let's uh, let's try it again. Now, you know what? Let's just go to the next one down. Marcy N. Marcy N., you were second up. Uh, go ahead, Marcy N. Thank you, Milo. Good evening, everyone. Um, the product I want us to talk about is O Shop. And uh, I that? really oh, don't know what? much about O-Shop. O-Shop, okay. Yes, I really don't know much about O-Shop. I want you guys to tell me everything about it. If you will be able to just gather my peanut and go and sell it in the O-Shop. Thank you so much. All right. Well, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do that. So let's bring uh, down first. Let's bring Engineer Mike. Come on down. We'll start with you. Remember to leave a little bit there for some of the other ones and you can come back and get some. Yeah, I know. I know the big bros, you know, and I, I used to start like, I know when I see Red Reference, I see Jeffrey Moloch. I know these are the product guys. So to me to be in their middle, it's like you put like a paper and wind can just blow it. But I'm trying my best. <laughs> I want to be like that when I grow up too. Uh, me too. Thank you, Milo. Yeah, so um, O-Shop is an advanced e-commerce application, okay? It's empowered millions of business owners um, worldwide that's to market themselves professionally, okay? It has, you can do customized product designs. Uh, what does that mean? You know, if you have like a... An example is what we have today. We have Amazon, okay? You can go order your things that you have on the shop. Look, okay, let's say if today old shop is running, we can have hats of Unpassive, T-shirts of Unpassive. Some of our physical products that our CEO told us about, well, we can have them under. So you can sit in your house. If I want 10 hats, I want to share to my friends and colleagues at work or something, or just family, I can order 10 hats and that 10 hats will be delivered to my address. And I will take them and I will distribute them to the people that I want to give them. So that old shop is an equivalent of a kind of Amazon. If you know how you do transaction on Amazon, 
you buy things and they come delivered to you. Remember, when I'm doing always my um, presentation of Unpassive, I give you people the e-commerce statistics. So this is where that e-commerce statistics come to play. A lot of businesses online. Going, it was going to be about how many billion? Uh, 4.8 billion or something? <laughs> or trillion or something. I can't remember the figure very well, but it's a lot. So due to the COVID and shutdown of a lot of things, a lot of people were doing the ordering and all of that. So we are getting into that phase that our own is coming with all its might and all its um, features that are not still there out there in the, in the market. So we're going to own the market of um, online marketing through our own shopping or O shop. Thank you. I'll leave the rest to my big people over there. All right. Uh, all right. Come on down, Red, and talk to us. Okay, uh, so what I'm talking about O Shop here is really what the difference between O Shop and O Marketplace is. Now, there's a lot of confusion about uh, with the founders thinking they're one and the same, but actually they are completely different. O Shop is going to be the application that existing businesses use to tag on to their websites. So if they are selling online right now, they have to have a medium to sell it at an e-commerce site so uh, anything that you go uh, searching into google comes up with a business you look at it it comes up with a shop front you can search that shop front and then you buy it that is the e-commerce part of that business this is what o shop is okay the only difference it's going to be is each business, yes, will have individual applications, but O-Shop itself will have search facilities. That means that you can go to O-Shop, you can search for individual products, and it will bring up that business where you get that product from. Now, O-Marketplace, that is completely different. O-Marketplace is a standalone shop. So think of it like a Walmart, okay, that has everything in it. You go to O-Marketplace, and you browse O Marketplace to buy something. It could be an individual selling cupcakes. It could be a guy who makes woodwork stuff and he's selling a few bits and pieces. You might have a jacket that's uh, secondhand. You want to sell it. You can put it on at Marketplace. O Shop is a designated e-commerce site for selling that business's products. That is the main difference. And with um, O Shop, it's going to make life a lot, lot easier for them because it's going to have templated formats. OK, so you can put into when you're setting up your e-commerce site uh, through O-Shop, you can uh, say I am a baker's, for instance, put confectionery in there. It will have a templated uh, e-commerce site ready to rock and roll. All you're going to be doing is dragging and dropping in uh, pictures to make up your e-commerce site putting prices in, all the rest of it, and you will have then a very bespoke e-commerce site uh, that is written for your own business. Back over to you, Milo. All right. Thank you. Hey, Milo, man. can I interrupt you for a second? Well, you're up next, Jeff, so oh. come on down, brother. Oh, well, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I have a uh, read. Um, I'm hoping you can clarify something for me. I'm obviously a bit, a bit confused. When you say O marketplace, are you are you referring to O Mart or did do we have no, an O marketplace? We will have we will have a marketplace within on passive, where where people will be able to come and sell their goods. Right, but what I'm saying is O Mart, which is a product, is a marketplace. And when you say O Mart, I don't know if sorry. you're talking about O Mart or if it's another product. No, uh, O Mart. Sorry. Oh. But it's a mar it, it's, it is a marketplace. So. Oh, okay. Sorry. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Now, well, at least I'm on track. I was like, man, I'm yeah. Mr. Product. How did I do that? Oh no. You know, that's like. No. I, I, me. <laughs> you know, O Mart. O Mart. I, I mean, yeah. It's 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 our marketplace. Yeah, all right. And it, yeah, it's beautiful too. You're absolutely right. Thank you. I I appreciate you getting me out of the woods. Sorry. Oh man. Um. 
you know, OSHA, when, when we talk about OSHA, the, the thing that really, the whole thing with me is advanced e-commerce. And what we want to do is just be able to empower millions to get a piece of the e-commerce worldwide and to affect global economy and bring wealth, obviously, in their branding and, and more success into their lives. That's the big thing for me. And when, when you take that and you start mixing this with some of the other things like Red was talking about that we've got out there uh, uh, in, you know, specifically the old Mart, man, I mean, life is just going to get good for us. I'm, I'm loving it. And that's, that's all back. Back to you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Red, let me, or and Jeff, or and any of the panel, is, <laughs> is one of those, or is one of them a place where you can, you will have affiliates that uh, sell for you. Uh, do you know Red, or is will that even be something that's needed? Yeah. I mean, if you can actually sell yourself. But this is something that's actually said uh, by Ash uh, in one of the webinars very recently. Is uh, not every product, but a lot of the products will you will be able to set up an affiliate through yourself. Remember, on what is on Passive doing for us as founders? They are marketing us. So our domain name and websites, you can set up your own affiliate affiliation of yourself to then resell yourself, if that makes sense. So, for instance, yeah. if, so, so for yeah. instance, if you are if you are a cam, we'll say uh, if you're a business that sells cameras uh, through your uh, e-commerce site that is O Shop, you can actually advertise at the bottom of that an affiliate program that you put together yourself that would be commissionable on the sales that they can they produce through the e-commerce site that is going through your business that is o shop uh, that is just one part of it you can do it with academy for instance as well o wallet i know will be able to do it as well so there will be uh, certain products that you can have uh, a referral affiliate type of thing uh, that you can do alongside what you're already getting as well. Uh, this is this is when Ash Mafara says to us, we need to expand our minds. What is possible with on passive? Really, this is he is giving us the tools to be successful online. It really is not only up to the company to make our success, but it's also up to us as well. If you are of the mindset that you're a go-getter, you want to get out there, you're a salesman, you have ideas or whatever it may be, you will have all the tools and support from on passive to do just that. This is why it's so phenomenal. And this is why it's going to change so many other um, people's lives. Yeah. Hey, Milo, if I, if I may, and by the way, Red, that is an absolutely wonderful point that you bring up, but in, in looking at your question, uh, Milo, I want to differentiate what uh, Red just said, because what he's talking about is literally having somebody, I mean, bringing somebody in under them and selling theirs, as opposed to bringing an affiliate in with their own products and marketing their products on that site. That's not, of course, I mean, you know, like Red said, Mr. Mufaris is expand what we can do. And I mean, if that's something he wants to do down the road, he, he, he certainly can, but he's talking about apples and oranges here. So yeah. That's yeah, loving life, man. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things that uh, everything will do, I'm sure, and and we don't have all the answers of exactly how it is, but uh, I think we got it all covered. Uh, hey, Milo, can I ask a question about the marketplace? Uh, yeah, but raise your hand, uh, Keith. We'll we'll get to them in a minute. We'll get to everyone uh, in line in a minute. We still have one more uh, uh, of our panel to go so next up we bring up miss susie mccray come on down we saved you for the last okay so i have a whole different look at o shop and i'm going to share a story with you of how i see one of the avenues it can take so say you have a large company that comes into on passive and they want to have o staff which everyone knows that's my favorite product. So they bring their entire organization of 150,000 employees into O staff. 
and they absolutely love the concept, the single sign-on, the, the products, the features. And most companies do employee recognition, and a lot of them do gifts for employees that have the company name on them. So the way I look at O-Shop is another avenue for um, a company to plug in to O-Shop and have their branded name on a, a variety of um, uh, gifts or products that their employees can choose from, whether it's because of their, how many years they've worked or accomplishes, accomplish, accomplishments they have made. How wonderful will that be to be able to do it all under that one umbrella and have a, a place where they can gift their employees with their branded name on whatever they choose. I may be wrong, but that's, you know, one avenue I look at is um, that that will just help an organization. They won't have to think about it. They don't have to go search out another vendor. They're the vendor right inside of on passive and they can pick and choose what they want. Wow, that's a great point. That's a great point, Susie. Uh, you know, when you can brand yourself, you know, uh, and you can be your own vendor, it doesn't get better than that. You don't have to go out, a, a car dealership doesn't have to go out and uh, buy key tags from someone. They can have them right there, you know, and, and give them out the caps. That's going to make everything uh, even easier to get, get a hold of and do. I like that. Hello. Oh, shop. Yes, Mike. Let me come in there. That brings us to the the pro the, the features of op 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 um what that we have there on uh, on that product, right? So O Shop like personalized product. What Susie is talking about is personalized. You can personalize the product, right? So and remember again, we also have um, O Wallet. It's integrated in O Sharp for easy transaction, right? So OLED is integrated as well. Then we also have um, you can you can you can download easily download like we we also have multilingual option. It has many languages. You can download high resolution and customize images on that same. Then the products sorting and segmenting. Then you can also whitelist. So those are the key features of OSHA. Okay, cool. So it looks like it's going to be it's going to be a very valuable uh, thing, and especially to I think uh, businesses and and you know uh, things that they'll be able to make their own you know uh, materials or, or shops and be their own vendors. So that's a good thing. Any of the other panelists have anything to say before we move on to the questions and and other answers? No. All right, let's see who we got up. Marcian Hamabu, come on down. You got a question, comment on old shop? No, that my hand was still up, but I think that they have oh. some hand up with question. I'm very happy for what I'm hearing. I'm learning a lot and I'm very pleased. Thank you so much. Awesome, well, good. All right, and next up we got Mr. Bruce Gerstein from Florida. Come on down, brother. Hello, hello everyone. Thank you all you panelists for all your expertise. Uh, Red, I had a question because uh, I have a, a real question. What's the difference between OSHOP and Odesk when you have a company already? Uh, Red, are you there? I think Red must have stepped away for a minute. What was Step that? Let's have Marty or Jeffrey or someone answer what did, that. Hey, what hey Bruce, it, yeah, Bruce, you said what's the difference between O-Shop and what? And O-Desk. Oh, what? O-Desk. O-Desk. Oh, O-Shop and O-Desk. Yeah, very yeah. different. Yeah. Go ahead, Jeffrey. Go ahead, Jeffrey. Well, uh, O-Desk, uh, and the, your, your old shop is an e-commerce where your old desk 
is for uh, scalable uh, customer relations management. It's, it's a CRM application that helps you generate leads and close deals, grow your business, right? That's, that's, that's a business app for growing your business where O-Shop is actually an e-commerce for commercial uh, sales uh, over the internet. Well, yeah, like if you have let your... me add to that. Let Thank me you. add to that. Thank you, everybody. So Odex in the IT field, we call it that it is a, a, a ticketing management tool, okay? It's a ticketing management tool. What does that mean? You are a customer, Bruce. Um, let's say Jeffrey is a customer, Susie is a customer, all of us are customers, okay? Now, if I cannot log in into my system, instead of going to, to, to support, to create a ticket, you can create a ticket right there on ODEX, okay? You can create a ticket on ODEX and it will be channeled to whoever it belongs to, to work on that ticket. So it's a ticketing. Also, if you have problems with your appliances at work and things like that, you can go through that ticketing system. And you, we have a lot of them out there. We have some service now. Okay, some people have, I mean, so many of them out there. We have three cup and things like that. So it's kind of it's a ticketing management tool. That's old decks for you. Okay, thank you. All right. Does that answer your question, Bruce? There, I, I don't think there are anything similar at all, you know, uh, <laughs> opposites. I don't think there's anything similar whatsoever with Odesk and, and O-Shop. You know, like Jeff said, one's for bringing people in and supporting them, and the other is actually giving them product or selling them product. And if you're a vendor, you know, you're vending your own stuff and personalizing stuff. So I don't think there's anything at all close uh, – between those two, to tell you the truth. Thanks, my love. All right, you're welcome, Bruce. All right, let's see. Uh, Key Wendell, I know you uh, you wanted to say something. Are you still here? Key? Yeah, yeah, Milo. Um, my question was about O Market because my understanding, and maybe this will help clarify or clear up a little bit. I have some connections to old classic cars, old Harley Davidsons, American muscle cars. And my thought is if I decide to sell, let's say a 55 Thunderbird or a 59 Cadillac convertible, put that on Omart and Red Redfern wants a convertible Cadillac and wants to buy it. He says, hey, answers, you know, we communicate. He clicks on his O wallet, sends me, you know, a few apples. And I put the car in a container and ship it to Red in the UK. That's Omar, correct? Uh, yeah, that, I think that would be Old Commerce uh, or Old Mart. I believe it. I believe it would be either one, right, uh, Jeff? Is that the way you understand? I'm not sure what Omar. Is. We've got we've got Omar and we've got O Shop, but I'm oh, not. Oh, I mean, we're oh, maybe I can, if you don't mind, Jeff. Maybe I can kind of yes. clarify to me to me o shop is a place where you can brand products for your company with the company name the company logo whether it be hats coffee mugs t-shirts other products o shop that's just a basic overview of it um o o commerce from what i understand is more online digital products online digital not physical products and then o mart is um you know and i of course we don't like to compare things but more like um an ebay or an amazon where there's products physical products that you can search and you can buy so um in that case that would be what he was talking about that he would be able to post his uh, uh, the cars, which I would like that Cadillac convertible, by the way, if you have one. <laughs> Whatever you want, let but, me know. Yeah, I... okay, okay. <laughs> I love convertible. But I'm just yeah. saying, in, in my mind, it's O-Shop is more geared towards branding, a company, company logo, having products for them that they can promote their brand and their company with. 
O-commerce is more online products and services, whether it be a program you can go online and there's nothing physical that you're receiving. And then O-mart is more of actual physical products. And you can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's how that's how I interpreted it. No, you, you're, you're, you're spot on. I, was, I, I think he was messing with me because he said, oh, market. And I'm going, I don't know. Oh, market. What's oh, market? And then so I said, OK, we've got these three. But you're yeah, you're spot on with oh, March, because oh, March is exactly what you were saying. It is literally a it's a platform for global wholesale trade where you can connect with sellers anytime, anywhere. And that's what you're referring to. Yes. Thank you, Susie. I Thanks, agree. Guys. I Thank agree you. with her. You know, and the cool thing, uh, Wendell, about uh, uh, the old cars and stuff like that, realize when you put it on, you know, uh, onto an old marketplace or whatever, you're going to have targeted traffic come there. That's a beautiful thing in a niche like uh, old cars and stuff, because if you don't have the right people looking at it, you know, it's not, it's not valuable to them. But if you have the right people that want to see that, looking at it and you can uh, guide them there that's going to make all the difference in the world all right does that answer your question yes thank you very much all hey, right hey, I've been i agree looking for an old watch so if you know someone has got one let me know uh, an old what <laughs> watch <laughs> I, I got a 1926 rolex is that old enough no that's what i'm talking about <laughs> oh all right all right, next up we got none other than our big brother, Mr. Marty DeGarmo. Come on down and talk to us, brother. I've got a quiet time, so I'm going to say it quick. Yeah, oh, oh, Mark, if you went to Facebook right now, look up, go to the marketplace. That's what it is. You'll have categories of anything you want to sell. Like if Key wants to sell that car or somebody wants to sell a recliner or somebody wants, it'll all be there under categories. In other words, you can have anything you could imagine. It'll be great because when you have a million people and then when you have a billion and they're shopping in the mall of on passive and they go, Hey, you know, I could use this. There it is. Fantastic. And O shop is like exactly what uh, Susie said. It's more of a branding. Like if you wanted to make shirts for your company, they is, um, I'm trying to think of what company out there now that does that kind of stuff, but it's kind of like that where they'll, they'll, they, you can have your logo done and, whatever you want done as a company, as far as I know. So I think Susie's uh, pretty close. Yep. Kaiser Blair used to do that. I think yeah, they yeah, still yeah. do KB. Yeah, they make hats, pins, anything for the company, you know, yep. license plates, stuff yep. like that. But right. if, if everybody, if you go to on passive.com, they really beefed it up. I mean, there's a lot of products that explains a lot of stuff. I think people would be blown away if you look at it recently. The last three websites, wow. They have everything in there really explained very, very easily. And, you know, it's it's very nice. They did a great job. And it's only getting better. So, yeah, that's all I got. Awesome. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Marty. All right. Uh, do we have any other questions or comments on Old Shop? If not, we are going to move to the next one. None. All right. Let's uh, let's see. All right. Here we go. You guys ready? Here we go. Five, four, three. <laughs> what, Sylvie? <laughs> we only got to three, Sylvie. You was really one that one, wasn't you? We had that up on one. <laughs> man, I know. Look at that, boy. She put it down and went right back up, man. She must have it. She must have it on a spring or something. It's ready to go. <laughs> Sylvie, you got your hand up again. All right, let's put Sylvie's hand down. All right, and here we go. Ready? When we say go, five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> ah, Sylvie got it. Sylvie, come she on is, down and talk she to is. her. She is fast, my love. Man, she was right on it, Marty. I mean, that, that baby popped right up there. You know what, Marty? <laughs> Saying about fast, I used to, I was an athlete when I was young, you know, teenager and so on. 
So I really like competition. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Always ready to get the first place. <laughs> Thank oh, you right. so very much. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Milo. Good evening, uh -huh. good afternoon, good morning to everyone right here. It's a pleasure to be among my family. So um, since I like, uh, uh, I mean, I like everything that brings happiness, you know, joy and so on. I was thinking like, how can I use uh, old doodle to, uh, you know, I don't know how old doodle can help me to hang around kids, uh, geriatrics, because those people, you know, I like to be around them uh, according to, to my job, you know, I'm a nursing film. I don't want to see them sad or maybe, you know, I, I want them to have fun. So how can I use old doodle? Can you explain me old doodle? Thank you so very much. All right, let's see. Who are we gonna call on first? Oh, what now? I didn't get that, please. Oh, doodle. Oh, doodle. It doesn't have that much information. Oh, doodle. I don't know doodle. about that word for that one. Do you know? Does one of the new know, products. Does anyone know what oh, doodle is? I, I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Yeah, you color. I, I use it all the time. There is There is a doodle out, so I'm assuming it's the same thing. But uh, go ahead, Susie. Well, first of all, um, sorry to backtrack a little, but Julie sent me a message about the dif 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 how to dif differentiate the three products we were just talking about. And she says she recalls when Ash came to uh, California meeting, oh, commerce is like an Amazon. If you have something to sell, you can put it on oh, commerce. Oh, Mart is where you can put your affiliate links to sell whatever you are affiliated with, like with other companies. Oh, shop is like we said, is more for printing and cups and hats and company things. Okay, so that I know I was saying a little bit about Oh Commerce being more online um, digital products, but that's actually more the Amazon. Oh, Mart is a, for affiliates links and O shop is for branded customer ones. Okay, so O doodle. I don't know much about it myself, but the way I look at it is it's a way that you can scribble, draw, plan ideas, share it with other people where they can add to your diagram or whatever you're doodling or uh, if you, My Milo, you you probably write songs or music or whatever. And if you're someplace and you want to jot something down, I don't know what all the features are, but just the word doodle to me is when you're you're dreaming, creating, and thinking things, it'll be a, a product that will be able to capture that for you easily. That's good. all I have to add. All right, good. So what I know about doodle. Now I use Doodle, so I'm assuming old Doodle is going to be similar to it. And if you, any of you that's watched uh, the Daily Inspiration, I use old Doodle for that. That's where you can write across the screen. It will write the words as you talk, and you can write across. Well, you can do a lot more than I do with it because you can actually fly in planes. You can you can actually create almost like a little video type thing if you want. You can add voice to it. You can add songs to it. Whatever you want to do, you know, with Old Doodle, uh, it's it's a nice. Uh, I mean, I enjoy Old Doodle, or I enjoy Doodle, uh, you know. And I'm assuming it's going to be the same way, but uh, hopefully it'll be a little easier. I never, I haven't really went and learned the whole thing because I figure I don't want to learn it because I've seen that Old Doodle was coming up, and I figure it's going to be easier with us, but. Uh, I do know with Doodle, you can, like you said, you can write anything, you can change the font, you can put it where that it writes. As you're talking, you know, you can have it on a blackboard, it writes on a blackboard, or, you know, there's all kinds of things you can do, and you can move things in and out. You can, you can also layer them. In other words, you can put a dog in front of a guy, or you can put the dog that's the, behind the guy, you know. It, it allows you to layer things uh, you know, and, and most of it that I've seen that you can use on Old Doodle is, is not real 
pictures. It's just kind of like drawings of, of things. And, and it will draw that out also. Doodle will draw. So if you've got a car and you want a car coming, you, you know, in there, it will actually draw. You can watch it draw the car and it, can, it will draw it in detail if you want it to, you know, depending on how you make it uh, happen. So that's what I know about Doodle. Uh, now, if oh Doodle, I'm assuming it's going to be something similar to that. But I actually, honestly, I do not know. Mr. Jeffrey Morlock? You got anything on that yeah, one? Yeah, no, you guys, are, Susie's, Susie's dead on the money. It's a, it's a collaboration tool and an excellent one for, for uh, unleashing your creativity uh, and working with people and de developing projects and ideas and concepts. And yeah, yeah, she was spot on. It's one of the five uh, un, um, upcoming products that we really haven't talked about and they aren't listed uh, in full-blown view on, on unpassive.com. So we've got five five of these products that are actually coming out after the initial 23 that we've got, because you've got, uh, uh, we know that Oh Traffic, which we've heard a lot about and do know something about, that's coming out. Oh My Life, Oh Host, Oh Doodle, and Oh Booking. So, but that's one of them. But yes, Susie, you were spot on. So Jeffrey, do you think it's like a whiteboard? Uh, so yeah. maybe it's like a doodle yeah. and you can, you can actually draw and yep. do things together and then create something. Yeah, and that may that may be the exact term that Mr. Mufara used, whiteboard. Maybe that's the one he used, but that's exactly what I think it is. Okay. That is whiteboard collaboration. Okay, whiteboard collaboration. Okay. So we are all you are um yeah, and Milo and uh thank you, Jeffrey and Engineer Mike. The other thing is maybe you can have a document where people can correct things on it. You know, think about all, you know, passing it back and forth for either grammar or rewording something. So if a business has a team working on a document that they want to present, uh, my impression is that you could upload a document and then be able to, you know, the old red pen when we were in school <laughs> where someone can go in and then circle and make corrections on something shared right there live. And create that document so that it, then it could be and shared then, on Oak Connect. Right. And then save it or whatever. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cause I know you, you'll be able to do that on Oak Connect. You know, you'll be able to sign documents right in front of people, you know, and, and that should uh, be legal. You know, it should be something that uh, real estate. Yeah, he has, he has the, the, the function we call dual screen sharing, um, Milo. Yeah. Dual screen sharing. I share mine. You share yours. We'll do business, we'll sign contracts like that stuff. Do uh, screen sharing. And you got a regular video right there. So uh, yes. documenting it. So, I mean, there's really no way of, that you wouldn't know that. So, all right. Uh, anyone else got anything? I see uh, uh, any of the panelists got anything? Is is Red, he's still here? Red, are you here? Red might have had to leave. It's late for Red. I all don't right. see him. Let's go to, uh, I see Corinne's got her hand up. Go ahead, Corinne. Yes, thank you. I just, I was wondering because of Doodle, maybe I'm spelling it wrong, but I'm associating Doodle as we utilize it here as a sort of time calendar of um, getting together and schedule meetings and such. Do you know that? I mean, I, I use Doodle and it, it, that is nothing to do with that. You know, I heard about this um, collaboration and everything, which, which is great, and, and all the whiteboard and so on. And maybe I'm, I'm spelling it different here. I use Doodle to communicate and schedule any meetings or, or, or conferences or, you know, to or, or meetings online or offline with um, timings and calendar. Are you familiar with that too, or is it just in Europe? I'm sorry. No, that is that is some of its its functions, its features. The uh, one you're talking sorry. about, Dudu, yes, yes, it helps you to do some of that. You can actually it work like an agenda, right? Exactly. You can, yes, you and, can program, and, and, uh, mm -hmm. program, um, conferences, meetings. Exactly and all of that online and offline, like you say, yes, it does that. And collaboration Definitely. and then the overview. So nobody and not everybody has to be 
always called in. We have That's one great. on panel, and then they can say, "Okay, I can then and then or whatever." We have spare time. Okay, yes, so I, does I, was, that. I, I just thought this is something from Europe. <laughs> no, it does <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and on the other way, I wanted to say here, um, beloved Key Wendell, and everybody who is under the weather, you shall know that our core group, everybody of us, we are always every day. Just uh, Sylvie knows and Marcien too. We have our group where we support energetically, we're open heart with prayers and blessings, everybody who is in need all the time. And we are always present in the unseen field. So um, yes, we are here together to uplift everybody and, and, and give the energy whatever it's needed as instrument, as on service. So thank you for your presence, Key. We appreciate you very much. And Thank you all for, for, for being on the service. Yes, we are supporting each other because we love each other and we know we can only do this journey all together and we will and we are. <laughs> Thank you. Again, I just wanted to say that. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, uh, so I'm not, uh, did you get your question answered about Oh, doodle, I, I don't Yes, know. yes, you know, yes. I, okay. I, well, I, myself, not Marcien, was, or Sylvie was the one who asked, excuse me. Okay, but you, you asked something about Oh, doodle being a calendar type thing. And I yes, think my, because I, I was so, I, I said, wow, this is the Oh, doodle and more. I'm, I mean, we're always, um, Ash is always over delivering. So it's going to be more, much more than we think, right? Yeah. And uh, more complete and, and, and evolving more and much more. More. I just was wondering if my understanding of doodle tool here in Europe or in Switzerland is different than you guys. You know, I'm sorry, there's different type of consciousness. So I'm, I'm laughing about my own answer question. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions on old doodle? I think uh, we probably told as much as we know. <laughs> All right. Let's go again. You guys ready? Here we go. And thank you, Julie, for uh, sending in that, uh, uh, what you knew about it. So thank you very much for chiming in there. All right. Uh, let's go again. Here we go. You guys ready? One more time. Looks like we're going to get one more in. So five, four, three, two, one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, Marcian, I don't think I said go. Pat Perrin was the first. Pat uh, Perrin. Yeah, but I never, I never said go. You didn't no. say go. <laughs> yeah, he, you didn't say go, Milo. You're right. I didn't say go. So you didn't say uh, go. Right, here we. I was trying to catch someone, and I did. So let's see. Let's try it again. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Marcian, did you already have one tonight? Yes, you yeah. yeah. Have, you can only have one. All right, oh, I that. okay. So I'm William DeLone. I'm sorry. Uh, William DeLone. Come on down, <laughs> Mr. Marshmallow Man. Hey, William, you here? Hello, Milo. Hey, William. Yeah, I have... Uh, I want to talk about old post. Old post. All right. Did you have that one? We haven't had that one yet. That's a good one. I was reading about it. Now, uh, I I guess you can post things on social media. Uh, so I was thinking about on passive when it releases the free products, we can post free products on social medias. Uh, and it has a feature where, you know, these people seem to like to uh, email you back with the products that they're posting. And it says it has a, a function with spamming function. You, you can, uh, eliminate those things. So I think it's a really good feature. So anybody have any more ideas? 
Absolutely, <laughs> William. I think it's going to be a mass mailer, a bulk mailer is one of the things that's really uh that old post is going to be also you know it's and what you just said so all right mr jeffrey morlock you are on the clock brother come on down on the clock huh? i like that well I just remember to leave a little bit on the bone for the other guy a absolutely not a problem i i like old post uh because I i'm not real big on emailing and that sort of thing but Opost is, quite frankly, it's just a, a very feature-rich, uh, intuitive business marketing software. So you're going to be able to go out to your customers with campaigns and bulk emails and all sorts of great stuff. And it has got a lot, a lot, a lot of automation in it. You're going to love it. Absolutely. All right, Miss Susie McCray, come on down. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know a lot about O Post, but um, I do know one of the features that I think people are going to like is that it will be integrated with the IP address. So I think people will be able to really monitor their email campaigns to see who they are reaching and then kind of manage it from that, that point. Um, also, what I like about it is knowing way back when, when I started attempting to do my own website and setting up email and connecting everything, you really had to spend a lot of time, frustration, hours, and money trying to connect everything. And I think the way Ash has designed it is he's given the tools right there. They're going to probably be plug and play, simple to do. So businesses who want to reach out to their audience, to their email list, to their contact contacts, they can spend more time being creative doing that instead of worrying about all the technical stuff. I agree with That's you. That's it. I agree yeah. with you, Susie. I think it is a marketing campaign also. And like uh, Jeffrey was saying about flyers and stuff, I think you'll have you'll have things you can put on the web uh, that's almost like a flower fly, flyer and you see where you says, you know, a lot of times they'll say, hey, if you want this free book or whatever, give me your name, give me your address, you know, your best address, and you pop it in there, and all of a sudden, guess what, that starts the marketing to happen, and that's uh, that's kind of old post, I believe it's almost just like a marketing tool. All right, let's, let's go over to Mr. Mike, come on down. Hey, 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 again, I mean, old post is one of those ones that, uh, it make you people, I mean, it, it's, it makes um, allow or it customize every aspect of the email uh, campaigning, including designing, creating email templates, formatting and sending them in one click. Like our business assistant, McClay said, this is something that Mr. Ash has made it in its own value. To, I mean, it's very fast, easy to use, and it would be that one that would be good for uh, for marketing emails. Okay, now its features um the email like management is automation automated, right? Um, it is easily integrated. It has easy integration. Um, dedicated IP addresses, like we say, mobile and desk and desktop um, response, um, built-in design to, to detect spam and all of that, it is huge. And remember again, when it coming, coming with artificial intelligence in it, it's secure, okay? It has that layers of security. So that I can add, Milo. Absolutely. All right, Jeff or Susie, do you have anything else to say, to add? I have um, something. I just got a message from Marty, if that's okay, about O'Doodle. Absolutely. Okay. So from the horse's mouth, which would be Ash Mufara, <laughs> about O'Doodle, it is a collaborative interface between apprentices with whiteboard, live applications, files, file sharing and editing uh, simultaneously, including saving, hosting, interactive features, 
one-on-one -on -one or many, even a group. Good for business training, presentations, and o academy. He said, we will enjoy using it. So I think it's far Very more robust. Yeah, far more robust with so many more features and so many more ways to use it than we're just thinking. So I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I just wanted to share that. So uh, Ash, Ash may be listening in. So that's great. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks, maybe, Ash. Maybe he'll show up. Who knows? All <laughs> right. Thank you. You got anything else to say about we're what we're talking about, which is an old post? No, I'm good. Thank you, Milo. I know we're ending up in a few minutes and yep. you like to be the good timekeeper. So we appreciate oh, yeah. that. And Jeffrey, do you have anything? Uh, it, it's a it's a very robust uh, program. I mean, it's got uh, spam testing in it. Uh, works, you know, it's, it's responsive templates are in it. Uh, the automation is what kills me. It is going to be so automated. There is a lot of automation. I mean, think about this. This is email marketing. Now, what is our traffic? And what, what does OnPassit do? What, what is Mr. Mufar's field? His forte, his wheelhouse? Marketing. This is him. He, you're going to love this program. Absolutely. I think so, too. You know, and, uh, you know, I guess uh, let me go. Well, wait, no, we got a guy. Uh, Ricardo's got his hand up. Ricardo, do you have something to say about O Post? Uh, hello, everyone. I hey. uh, just wanted to say hello to everybody. I've been with On Passive uh, since September 2019. Very, very excited. Very thankful to have all of you as brothers and sisters and love you guys. You're doing a super awesome job. I was used to talk a lot when I did networking for 36 years. Then uh, I came to Passive. They told me I, I just have, they're going to work for me. So I said, oh, I'm just, uh, I'll just invite a bunch of people, bring them in so we can work together. But uh, I'll be in once in a while so I can just uh, tell you guys how much we love you. My wife and I, we are always on all kinds of webinars. So all right, we're, awesome. we're, just, we're in the background. All right, thank you, okay. thank you for thank uh, you. coming, Ricardo. Yeah, you have right. a super awesome night. Thank you too. So, let me go back to uh, old do doodle real quick. Well, Marie, Marie, you got something to say on the old post? Come on down, Marie. I see your hand up, Marie Pendy. I missed the entire uh, topic. <laughs> for today because I was having problems um, zooming in. I have a device that kept kicking me out okay, and I just got in. Oh, post. Oh, is, that's what we're discussing? Yeah, or we're discussing old post. Okay, I think I'll benefit from just listening to what somebody has to say. All right, I think we're, we're just finishing up on old post, so. I was okay, just wondering thank if you, you had something to say. No, okay. All right. So let I, I want to go back. We got a few minutes left. I don't know if we got time to start another one or not. Probably not, because we only got probably 15 minutes left. And if we get into something, but but let's just I want to ask uh Jeffrey, Mike, and Corinne or uh Susie, whoever might know, you know, with this old doodle or Marty, maybe you're still listening. Is this something, uh, when we talk about exchanging files, trading files, doodling together, would this be something that uh, Jeffrey, like me and you was talking about today, a recording type thing? Is it something where I could share a file with another guy? No, you don't think so? Uh, uh, we have programs like that, that that'll do exactly what you're saying, but this is more, uh, Corinne, getting back to your, uh, specific question about doodle. When we when we think doodle in America, doodling is when you're sitting around and you're bored and you're just making little things all over a piece of paper with not. So you're doodling and you're just kind of creating and you're just being creative and you're coming up with things. So that's where the doodle came from. And this this platform, this this product that Mr. Mufar has come out with is exactly that kind of a collaborative where you'll be able to, to put something on a whiteboard and say, you know, what do you think about this? And then somebody else can comment and you can make changes and go back and forth. 
and that sort of thing. And so that you can develop the, the products or the concepts and you can just let your creativity flow. And that's, when you say something's on the drawing board, that's what this is. This is, this is a drawing board of, of, of where, where you can just interact with others on, on this particular topic. So that's how I see it. Okay. Yeah. Cause I was just, you know, what Ash had said, uh, you know, it's a collaborative interface between apprentices with whiteboard, live applications, files, sharing and editing, doodling simultane uh, simultaneously, including saving, hosting, and interactive features. One of one one on one, many even a group. And you know, of course, I'm looking for something for music that I would be able to set with a drummer in uh, New York and a, a bass player in Florida and a you know someone over someplace else, and we could all play together and maybe lay our tracks. Now I know I can do that as far as laying our tracks down, but I can't do it live. And and that's what I'm I'm just wondering if anybody knows anything like that that's out there or what which product would carry that well you know i don't I know anything specific about music but that sounds to me like that's in your graphics uh programs that we have then, then that could be a layer or that could be a component or element of that because that is heavy graph when you start layering oh yeah musics, and stuff like that. I mean, it's right up the same technological alley. But who knows? Uh, Mr. Mufar's probably got something up his sleeve for that. Yeah, too. yeah. There's probably something that you know you can do multi tracks or something, even with videos and and voice or whatever that he's going to have. I'm sure that he'll have it. I just not, I'm not sure which product it is yet. Or if it hasn't come out, maybe that's one that hasn't come out. Well, yet. you know, he's got the technology because he's using it. Right. And, I mean, audio and, and he's already, he's using it in, in a lot of the products. So I'll, I'll almost guarantee he's going to come out with something specifically for music. I, it yeah, just, yeah. I would, I would think so. And, uh, well, hey, I'll be a happy camper when he does. But I mean, I am anyway. There's so many, so much for us to work on and to think about and to use. And I can tell you, man, just the products we discussed today, there wasn't a, uh, uh, none of them were real big products per se, but uh, in on passive. Now, if you were just talking about it with something else, it's a huge product, you know. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of things there. And when you integrate it with everything else, they become monsters. I see uh, Corinne has her hands up. Uh, Corinne, yes. come on down. Thank you. Just show, thank you, Jeffrey and everybody, because this old doodle, it seems to be a door opener for creativity. It reminds me the first meet and greet I had here organized on the 30th, 21st of August last year. I put into our meet and greet a big, huge paper and many charcoals in different colors. So I said to the whole crowd, you know, here everybody can add something on this paper and together we create a whatever it is you know they were a bit uh, not not so courageous some uh, they were oh what is going to be just like children so this is um thank you I, it opened me up i'm in love with old doodle now if this is that and much more because i love creativity and as you say na, um milo just you know the music well that will be great imagine getting together potential and create something new what you can't ever create yourself alone so this is again on passive lifestyle on passive culture and all over giving more value and potential to create something what is hidden inside of you and combine with others and be much more empowered and, and, and happy and whatever you, you got the right word. If you go to onpassive.com and go to products, upcoming products, that's the byline. Unleash your creativity. That's what Ash says. Exactly. Wow. I love it. I'm so happy to have joined today here with all of you. You know, you got me so inspired. I'm not tired anymore. I don't know what my husband is going to say because I'm not going to bed now. I'm going to paint and dry and, 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 and you know, write some things, new things, which I got so many ideas. <laughs> Thank you for that. 
Awesome. Thank you, Corinna. I think there's going to be a lot of things that, there's com coming up, a lot of creativity that we're we're going to see uh, someone, Marie Pindy, uh, let's mute her. Yeah, I, uh, um, I, I just wanted to add one quick thing. Before, I see Marty's got his hand up, but I think Corinne, the doodle you're talking about is probably one of the features that's going to be in O Booking which is the calendar and scheduling appointments, but not to be confused with O-Doodle. I think that's a whole other whole other product of calendar and scheduling. Just wanted to add that, Milo, thanks. Thank you, thank you. I do think that uh, we're gonna see things created that we haven't seen before. I think we're gonna see uh, more songs come out because when you can create something and you don't have to have you know, uh, money for it, I think we lose a lot of that sometimes because the people that create it, if they're not making anything and they're struggling, well, then it kind of goes away from them. But if they can do it and some way be benefited from it, which Own Passive will do that, you know, I think it's going to open up a whole new brand new avenue and, and people are going to do what they're passionate about and the world's going to be a much better place to live. What do you think about that, Marty? Come on down. Well, I think that, if you know, there's thousands of people in music, thousands and thousands, millions, maybe. And if he doesn't have it, he'll make it. I Do exactly it. what you're saying, because it's very hard to put the music together and make it make sense. It doesn't. But there is a way to do it. I've seen people do it. There, so if it can be done, Ash will do it, especially if it's in demand. And remember, after this is all said and done, he's going to have a hub or something where you can put ideas in and they'll run it through the tech team. If it makes it to Ash, it makes it to us. So you, I would definitely push that, Milo. And if you push it, you know he's going to do it. I, you know, I believe it. And, and I did. Actually, Marty, that was the first thing I asked him when I seen him almost uh, right after I asked him about his name and stuff. When I started talking about that and Ash said he got that look in his eyes where they were kind of spinning, you know, and and you could tell he was thinking, and he says, Milo, he goes, I know what you're talking about. And he said, it's called latency. He says, and right now it's not able to be done. But he said, when the internet gets fast enough, you will have it. We'll be the first, you know. And so I have confidence that that's going to happen. I just, I, I'm kind of wondering, okay, where it, where is this fitting in? Is it already there and I'm missing it? You know, but... Uh, how cool would it be to have a, a multi-track of a video recorder with a voice underneath where you can drag a video in there and you can delete the video or the sound or whatever, break it apart. And then you can put another sound underneath and mix those together where one fades out and one fades. Yeah. Man, it's so endless. And, and, and to, to make it simple enough that anyone can do it, you know, I think at that point, you know, you will see creativity like you have never seen before. And I'm excited about it. I am really excited about what's coming up. Not only what, you know, I'll be able to do with it, but what I'll see others do with it. Because, you know, there's not one thing. Whenever, you know, you think you've done the, the thing the first time or whatever, you know, people say, hey, can I borrow that? You know, I don't want to steal it. Say, hey, if you're stealing from me, you're stealing twice because I found out how to do it from someone else or something that was out there. There's nothing, Harley, that's original anymore. It's all been done. You agree with that, Marty? Absolutely. Look, Ash isn't reinventing the wheel. He's just making it run smoother, right? He's got better tires on it. It'll handle bumps better. But everything he's building that we've seen up to this point is out there somewhere. It's just what he built is unlimited higher technology, AI induced, the value's unbelievable. So get ready for the flock of people coming in because they're coming. Absolutely, Mart Marty. And you know, I think about uh, uh, Ash, you know, he's a, he's a top marketer, sales guy or whatever. Now he's providing us with that information. Can you imagine what's going to happen when he says, maybe he puts a, a little program into, uh, or you know, how to, how to market, how do you market? And do you remember, I, I caught something that he said once he said, Academy will have stuff like that, you know, how to market this and that. 
Can you imagine? Absolutely, absolutely. It'll have everything you can imagine. There's nothing unlimited, right? And you said when he his eyes roll around, back the freak up when that happens, okay? Oh. Because you you know something crazy's coming, all right? I mean, he gets mad at me. Uh, he's texting me right now. Uh, he gets upset when I call him crazy, but I can't think of anything else to call him. Insane? I mean, what, what else right. do you say? But it's a good thing. I mean, he's Absolutely. always sick. And listen, give the man more time. When all this is running well and things are running, he has a little more spare time to actually think about ideas. You better have a fire extinguisher ready, right? Look oh, my out. God. Uh, oh, my that, God. That's one of the things that excites me so much is not what we know right now, because that's just a little bit. What we don't know is huge. But even what we don't know, it's even bigger than that, what's coming, you know, because he will just keep stacking the cool. And like you said, I mean, what's he going to do once he's got everything in order and he's got time to go through that notebook of his that's got all of these things, you know, and then if if someone says, hey, what about this, Ash? And all of a sudden, Ash goes, yeah. And he might take it in a different direction or he might go in that direction, but he comes up with something that's just phenomenal. I think we're going to see a lot of changes in the world, you know, and I think that's where, you know, when he says we're going to be the, the correction to the corruption, you know, there's all kinds of things out there that are being held back that people know about that they might know how to do that they can't do because of, you know, they don't know how to market it or they don't know how oh, to no, do exactly. You know what it is, Milo? People come up with great ideas and they get squashed by the big dog. Absolutely. In this case, when the biggest dog is the guy with the ideas, there's nobody there to squash him. That's the difference. He's coming into this arena as a prize fighter, number one in the world. Who's going to mess with him? Nobody. They can't. So when he comes up with an idea, it's going to work. People can't squash it. And he's not worried about making the money, so you can't buy him out. It's a hard thing to deal with when you have Frankenstein up there running everything and doesn't care about that other part, and he's entering this arena as the new sheriff in town. Let me tell you, we, we have not seen nothing yet. Trust me. He um, said 8 billion people on the planet, and there'll be something for everybody to use. Everyone. It's amazing. He said we'll be the number one company in the world. The right. biggest company in the world. Now, I never heard him say that before a couple of weeks ago. And when he said it, I went, oh my God. I remember Mike Ellis, I used to have to tell him, calm down, calm down, you're saying, you're getting too hypey. Now it's the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> no. It's so true, but I mean, when you think about it, you know, you think about electricity and he says, hey, we got something for electricity or we got something for uh, cars. Is that gas? Is it engine? What is it? You know, I'm sure it's something big that's that's going to be revolutionized you know that's going to change everything the way we do what about medicines what about research you know how much research research has been squelched and put underneath and uh you know things that uh, people die from every day that don't have to because you know there's someone out there that's already come up with a product to do it but there's no way to get it out because like you said money talks and and people you know, there's more there's more money in the cure or not in the cure, but there's more money in the medicines than in the cure, you know. And so if they cure it, then they're they're done, you know. So those people are just going to feed the money, you know. But uh, what a what a blessing it's going to be that we're in with this guy, man. So anyway, I see Corinne up there. Corinne, come yes. on down. Listen, I just want to throw this question or this open the field. You remember the round table where I first see, you know, we open up ourselves for the unknown. So, of course, Ash is unique. We are also in that moment where we release our old patterns and conditionings and limitations because we are relaxed in sense of we have enough filled up our tank what will happen we re, um, unleash our potential and every human being just like the children they're creative they're creative because they're free 
And so we are going to get in our freedom to be creative and spread the potential we have inside. And everybody has it in one way or another, you know? So, you know, I, I, I believe in that. So I'm so happy for the whole humanity, for us, first of all, to create our potential and inspire the others to be happy, to open up the hearts and be empowered through themselves, you know? This is a total freedom and peace. We, if we have peace inside of ourselves, we can really start to evolve on a way you have never recognized yourself again and or before, you know, and you remind and you remember more and more who you are. And we are so much more than we think. And Ash is our mirror, you know, our mirror Absolutely. and our inspiration. Uh, thank you, Myla, to All let me right, talk again. Well, and I'm so you. inspired. <laughs> thank you, Corinne. And, and I'd like to thank everyone that came tonight uh, that was on the show. I would like to thank uh, uh, John Barilla for working the, the back back scene and making sure things run smooth. I'd like to thank uh, Lynn Nakamoto. Thank you for coming and helping out tonight and filling in and doing all you do all the time, actually. And uh, sorry we missed uh, we missed Julie. She's sick, but hopefully she'll be back. Uh, her voice will be back. She said she wasn't sure if it would be back uh, Saturday, so let's plan on doing this same format Saturday. Uh, so we'll. Hey, Milo, can I yeah. add one thing I found out? You sure can, Marty. You can just oh. talk whatever uh, you want. <laughs> I right. said that on O-Doodle, you can record the session. Okay. You can lock the session. You can have it password set where only you and whoever you want there to be there, but it can be recorded. Oh, wow. He said he loves the tool. You will use it a lot, maybe daily. Your recordings can be on a link. So not only can you record it, you can give the link to somebody else that you want to see the doodling that you did. So you're talking about music. You're talking about yeah. whatever. You make a recording. You get a video. And you give it to who you want. Oh, that's that's awesome. You could sit there and do a little thing, you know, a little thing and send it to your buddies and say, listen to this. and. And then they come back and play, you know, whatever they want to. This is awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. Thank you, Marty, for sharing that. I You're appreciate welcome. it. All right. So Saturday, we'll come back. We'll do the uh, same type thing. Uh, so let me just go over real quick the products that we have covered. And maybe you can go and, and look at some because I know we're missing some big ones. I can't believe no one's hit that button for old mail yet, but uh, no one has. So we we went through O Tracker, O Connect, O Academy, O Dit, O Chat, O Virtual, O My Life, O Staff, O Net, O Connect, O Bless, O Create, O Shop, O Doodle, and O Post. So that way you can kind of know what we went through. Look up what you would like to hear next week or whatever that's not on that list. And remember. Also, a lot of people are putting uh, out product pages now. I think Red's doing things on it. Me and uh, Jeffrey's doing some on it. You know, ours are quick hitters, eight, 10, 10 minutes at the most, you know, and you can learn about the product. And if you want to know more, uh, you can click on it and uh, it goes into Jeffrey uh, doing his presentations. But uh, it's just a, a, it's a fun time. So I'd also like to thank our panelists that was here tonight, which was Miss. Susie McRae, thank you for coming all the way from Boston, or out by Boston. And we got Engineer Mike, who I think is from Seattle, out on the East Coast or someplace out there. We got Mr. Jeffrey Morlock, who's up in North Carolina, and Red Renford, who is from London. Man, and Marty DeGarmo, who's from New Jersey, who stepped in there and answered. And Corinne is from uh, Switzerland. She uh, And everybody that uh, brought some things to the table tonight. We appreciate all of you, and uh, we will see you next week. So uh, come back next week. So uh, I guess that ends our show. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. So look for, uh, like I said, me and Jeff's got the uh, uh, products coming out every six hours. I can't believe we're doing that, and it was kind of a challenge. He said, you think we can get 23 in and in uh, six days, uh, that's four, four a day. 
which means that they need to come out every six hours. So at three o'clock in the morning, at nine o'clock in the morning, at six o'clock, or no, three o'clock, nine o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon, and nine o'clock in the, at night, there's going to be a different video in the Julian Milo show under, uh, what do we call that playlist? Product review. Product review, you go in there, yeah. click on it, and all the products will be in there. I like drums. And me and Jeff get a little bit too excited sometimes. I don't know if you can understand us, but we just, man, we start talking about the stuff and we get fired up. Ain't that right, Jeff? Yeah, this is, folks, you, you, you're you going to just enjoy it. If you like to just sit in the lift, because you know what we're doing. We're going back and forth and it's unscripted. And it's pretty much just as ideas come out, we just kind of, oh, what about, what about, what about, oh, this is really cool. But he times it. So at like ten minutes, he says, "Okay, we're we're done." I'm like, "Okay." I mean, so it, it's it's a what does what did they call it? Rapid fire. Yeah, rapid fire. So I mean, yeah, it's good. You'll enjoy it, but there's a lot of information. Yeah, but we try to get it all in in, in ten minutes or less or about that, you know. And and uh, we we just get excited, and it's hard to sometimes stop, especially on the big ones, you know. And then we, of course, we talk about how it inter interacts with this one and that one, and it's like, man, it just blows your mind, you know, some of the things that, that me and him come up with. But uh, you'll enjoy them, I'm sure. Uh, so thank you all for coming, man. We appreciate you coming. And remember, we wouldn't have a show if you was not here. So we appreciate you coming. Thanks again, once again. And once again, let's remember uh, Julie uh, in, in prayer or whatever, that her throat gets better, or I think it's her voice. Her voice gets better and uh she can come back but uh she might be here saturday but we don't know for sure she she won't know till then all right appreciate all of you good night from nashville good night hi guys good night from thank you 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 Share the love. 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 Share
It's here to stay on passive. There's just no better way. Listen to the Julie and the Milo show calls, and then you can be the very first to know. On passive, it's here to stay. Julie and 